the killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students. Hold up. I don't know about this part. Class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Wait. So, if there's two people left, then it's just over and they bounce? Or what? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. I ain't never been in a place where 8 a.m. La fucking night lasts until 8 a.m., son. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. You sure? I played the first game. Discover the body. Here's the thing about that. Does... Because there was... A thing I was questioning about whether... Like, because... I think he answered the question during the second game where he said... Technically, the blacking doesn't count as a student who discovered the body if he kills the student. But then it seemed like they didn't put that rule into play during some of the other trials, which confused the crap out of me. Students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the exos. Oh shit. Chopin. Son, I only. I forgot why I know how to pronounce that. It came from some cartoon show. Because he was like going over that shit, and then he saw the name, and he's like. Man, I love chopping. He's like, nah, nigga, it's Chopin. Chopin's military polonaise would definitely help unite us. Yeah, I can get behind some below. <laughs> and I don't even like meat or tomato. <laughs> nigga. Really? Even I can't handle these intense vibrations. And trust me, I've got low... Sorry. So let's show them that we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to fight each other. We're not going to work to- Wait, no, we are going to work together. Yeah, we're going to work together, okay? I was like, we're not going to work together. On the contrary, you made your case with such- I'm not even trying to read that shit. I don't know what the fuck that means. Such- Yeah, that shit. Oh, fuck. Are these niggas just gonna shoot me on sight? Can I talk to, uh, Miyu? Yeah. Okay, I remember your name. Fucking Quit wasting my time, you kooky bitch! Hurry up already, chop chop! Nice talking to you. Man, like, none of these people weigh, like, anything, son. I thought she had a sword in her hand at first, yo. I was like, son. You are not, I was about to say, you are not Peko, get out of here. It's true, it's true, there's really a manhole in the grass. An important hole near some bush. Sounds familiar, am I right, lady? <laughs> God, I knew that's where she was going with that, but sorry. Huh, a robot's not strong enough to move it? Oh, don't worry. My physical strength is approximate to that of, the, of a strong senior citizen. What? Oh, then allow Gota. Gota lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover too. Gota places hands over the man cover and... For real? Upsie daisy. Straight up just lifted it up with two fingers like it was a, a coin. Gonta no can do that. Very rude to litter. Yeah, going to try to be gentlemen. That's exactly what I was going to say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kaede. Give me a hug. <laughs> um, no. Ugh, degenerate man. Typical degenerate behavior. You were trying to trick her into pressing her boobs against you. Yep. I'll be like, well, caught me. Who the fuck? You're about to take on the death road of despair the object oh my god the object is simple everyone works together to a son this was not in okay oh my uh, what makes it worse is that these buttons are like not in the same place so i don't know which buttons are going to be which because these buttons are all fucked up i'm assuming that's going to be a this is going to be annoying. Like, none of these buttons are in the right place. 
Okay, you gotta push open the gate. Oh shit! Okay. Now I'm control. Can I switch? I'm controlling Angie now. What the fuck? Okay, that's how they gonna play this. All right. Oh my god! Yo! What is this? Were we meant to lose it? Okay, now I'm looking at this chick. Okay, first of all, Kaede looks like a combination of like Junko and the teacher, like Class 77's teacher. This chick looks like a combination of like Sayaka and I don't know, something about her face reminds me of Aoi. So strong, but stronger than ever. We stepped into this tunnel once more. Oh, god damn it. We going back into that game. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, god damn it. I thought they would ease up on this bull crap this time. Is there any way to jump up top? No. No! God damn. Son, how do I get through here? Son, this is annoying. How do you get through that? Yo, fuck that. And everybody else just got burnt. Son, how do you get through this stupid thing, man? Fuck this stupid ass game, yo. I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. I'll come with you. If you don't mind, that is, just let me know. I just caught that little face that she... Okay, I got it. She's a... Not only does she not like dudes, she just straight... She is she a low-key perverted lesbian. Alright. I got you. I just realized the first murder hasn't even happened yet. And after the first murder, we also have to go through a long-ass investigation. And then after the investigation, we do the class trial. So, yeah. I wish you didn't ask that. <laughs> because that's one of the... God damn it, I didn't want to say shit. I should have just acted like I didn't see that, so... Real talk, these rooms are a lot nicer than the rooms they had in the first game. Main character in the first game had a busted lock on his door. <laughs> What's her name? Sum Sum Sub Subuki. I know her name was long, yo. Sumigi Subuki. So like she's just gonna be like right outside somewhere. So what's your name? Sumugi, Sumugi. I ain't gonna remember your name. I'm sorry. Where is the dining hall? Okay, I'm assuming it's the thing with the chairs right there. So yeah. No, that's a classroom. We need a dick. Oh, how about the thing with the knife and fork? That makes a lot more sense. So I figured I. Oh fucking god! Here we go. This is how it started the first time, too. So I figured I'd ease you guys into the killing game by giving you a motivation to kill. I will now announce the first motive. Make sure you record this moment for prosperity. I said prosper prosperity, whatever. Okay. I'm just going to say this. The first game... On a row, I like how the music just stopped, like, the music just completely stopped while I was about to explain this. But, yo, the first game, because everyone basically had part of their memory wipe, he had videotapes of pretty much everybody that, anybody that was involved in the killing game, he had video of, like, everybody that all of them cared about, where they were... Uh, giving them inspirational videos about how proud they are about them getting into uh, making it into uh, being accepted into the school 
because the first game it was a uh, yeah because there's a bunch of crap that ties into it you know so because it starts off they're giving like it's like videos that all their friends and family or whatever gave to them basically like oh we're so proud of you for being able to make it in the host peak academy and then the next time it cuts off and then it's just like you just like oh so whatever happened to so and so make it out of the school and try to figure it out for yourself and that was the first motivation to kill i don't know what he's going to do this time the first game in the anime are literally the same thing what? Wow! For the first murder that occurs, no class trial will be held! Can you believe it? What? That, 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 I didn't know about that. That threw me off. Son. So for the first murder, I decided not to hold the class trial at all. Son, that was that threw me off. Please just relax, calm down, and kill. After all, the first one's free. First blood perk. Don't make it sound like some kind of game show bone. Oh, turn, yeah it is. Run Kaido! At that moment, we heard menacing mechanical noises. The Exo's charged. Oh shit. The sound of crushing metal echoed through the dining hall. And then, a final... <laughs> Hold up, what? Huh? What the fuck? They killed Monica. Poor daddy. Let's at least bury him with full honors. Fuck you. Well, we'll cook him low and slow to lock in the flavor. What? I'm just curious on who the fuck Kokishi is again. Like. Oh. This nigga. Alright. Hold up. Time out. Did this shit just say... Did it say he hates or likes pig feet, yo? I just saw that joke last second. Hold up, where is he? Oh, yeah, he dislikes pig's feet. Yo, I saw that shit last second before I moved away from him, yo. I was like, hold up. For you. So you just gonna swear at me again like you usually do? Hey, look at you two. Out for a walk together, huh? Why don't you pick up some rubbers over there, over at the warehouse? Better say, damn, son. Huh? What? We don't need those. <laughs> what? You must be a real fucking skank to let dudes unload, nigga. <laughs> I'll fuck with this shit. Say, she bugging, but even though as soon as somebody says anything to her, yo, she start crying. But son, she really just said that, son. You must really be a fucking scape to just let dudes unload inside you like that. Yo, I was like, son. <laughs> <coughs> Yo, this chick. By day, you're fingering the piano keys. By that night, the dudes are fingering you. <laughs> Yo. Uh. Shut the hell up. What kind of girl do you think I am? <laughs> See, she start crying whenever somebody starts saying something back to her, though. Please forgive me. It was a joke. I was just trying to lighten the mood a little. That's how you lighten the mood, son? What is she wearing, yo? I just noticed, like, this whole bullshit down here, yo. Like, what is this, yo? I never really focus on, like, the whole thing she wearing, so... Uh... I'll try to remember your name. It began with an M, right? Yeah, Maki. 
I was like, you not me, you. <laughs> Since this wall is so big, I wonder how the bus would even get in here. Yo, who does her demeanor remind me of from other games? Uh... Oh, okay. I just got it. Because it was like certain like ways that she was just like looking whenever she was talking about anything. I was like, oh yeah. Chiaki. They did you so dirty and I fucking hate how they did Chiaki. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Sprint. They did that girl so dirty. I was fucked up. She did nothing wrong. I bet she's worried about you. But that's pro probably true of everyone's family, including mine. Sister is terribly lonely. I need to get back to her. So, oh fucking god! I think I just remembered something that I read about his profile. God damn it! Cause I forgot all about it until that sentence right there. Nigga, just no. Just no. Please tell me, Himiko, what sort of training do you usually do? I told you, I get tired talking about it. And I'll massage your back so you won't get tired. I wouldn't mind if you rested your head on my lap either. Yep. Definitely what I... Either that... Because she did, I didn't see her do that with uh, Kaede. So, before I was thinking that she was probably like a perverted lesbian. Now I think she's... I think she's just in the lobbies. Nigga, get that drool off of you, son. On a real... I'm sorry, but like, what's your name, Shuichi? You are the second person in this thing to take on the mantle of the ultimate detective. And on the road, Kyoko was kind of on some other junk with what she did, in the, what she was doing in the first game. But I was like, son, you don't live up to Kyoko. Son, that shit scared the fuck out of me. And I can't just like grab it. Oh, God damn it. The ultimate despair. Nah, man. I don't need none of that in my chat right now. <laughs> I'm just playing, yo, what up? What Shuichi told me earlier was really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma. It's just so hard to believe. But Shuichi trusts me. That's why he told me, right? Then maybe I should believe it. Hmm. Well, at least he actually did some deducing for once. Hold up, you can put Audrey's back. Oh, that's what that light was before when I was doing that bull crap. Little short dude whose name I don't remember. Yoma, I was not going to guess that. Huh? What's with the attitude? You're so mean. I thought you said we were friends, Kaede. But you were lying this whole time. Without thinking, I blurred that out loud. Now everyone, uh, yeah, I can see why people would be like, nigga. Um, I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. I wonder, do you wish the killing game would have, nigga? No, not at all. Bitch. Damn. No ruin a happy moment, you fucking skank. <sighs> hey, Kaede. I don't know what you're so worried about, but Monokuma is dead now. There's no way the killing game can continue, you know. Well, and that's my cue to appear, Kuma. You should have told us you were still alive. We've been making stew with your body. Wait, if Papa Kuma's standing there, then whose body is in the stew? Wow, which Papa Kuma is the real one? God, yo, I spit all up in my nose when I said Papa, son. Fuck out of here, yo. The fuck? Oh, no! This is an emotional reunion, so y'all gotta take your licks. Nah. What do you mean? The killing game is going to continue. 
I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. Nigga. Either way, I assume this would happen. This development was not surprising. Is that so? Then did you also assume that the next ex assume this next exciting development? What? Oh god damn it. An additional motive? A time limit is now in effect. A murder does not occur by night time. Two days from now, then every student participating in this killing game. That's bullshit! Fuck nigga. You might wanna take this game seriously. So if all the parties jumped, that would have been the first thing I said right there, yo. It's just been a loud ass. This is bullshit. But if we let the exos get popular, we could have a real cash cow on our hands, you know? The merchandise and rights alone would make us richer than sultans. Hmm, Sultan's on very tempting, but I won't let you kids ruin your futures. You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures. Damn. Daddy, you love us so much. But the killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Hell yeah. If they don't play, then they're dead anyway. And that's way more gory, yeah. I see. If it's gratuitous, over the top gore, I might be able to stomach that. Forget the killing game then. It'd be better for all you to just die together. What the fuck you? Yo, Monodom, go get some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of killing. So long, farewell. Fuck you. Bear not. If we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance at winning. No. Nigga, did you forget about the Exos? No way. Are we really gonna die? I don't wanna die yet. Make up your mind, nigga. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ultimate liar. I don't know what the fuck's going on with him. Wait, no. He said he's good. I think he's the ultimate liar, nigga. Hold on, everyone. We haven't decided on our plan yet. You can decide that on your own. Huh? You don't know? Your half-assed speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then... So just come up with a plan for yourself. Wait, Maki. Wait! This is a completely different feel from the beginning of the first games. Well, the first two games. I'm just going to pray to Atua. It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. Hmm, or that special kill pillowcase I bought. What should I do? Nigga. AKA, she got hentai. Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? I just remembered when they first got awakened inside of the school they mentioned the ultimate hunt because they were getting ready to erase their memories again but they never mentioned the term ultimate hunt after they erased their memories a second time but this time gave them memories of their ultimate ability hmm <sighs> Time for my last resort. Your last resort? Magic. The magic powder. Stop, you shouldn't do what that. If you put it on sweets, it's really tasty. It's sweet and salty. I know the secret recipe. Is she talking about sugar? I see. Oh, I see. You mean that. Um. Hey, Shuichi. What should we do right now? We need to move. 
Huh? Move. It's morning. Before I came to the dining hall, I noticed dust from the car reader or oh shit. That means one of them used it. Huh? You mean in the library? Okay. Yes. So when he said we need to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case, then Shuichi, can I help you in any way? Okay. Of course, Kaede. But we should go. We shouldn't be talking in this open area. What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? We're not whispering. We're just going to check on something. And that thing you want to check is a secret? Sorry. All I can say is... Yeah. I haven't given up. I'll show you guys that we can escape from this place. You can count on it. I see. Well, that's how it is. Then I believe in you. Thanks. Atua! What's up, Kaede? Shuichi? You guys wanna pray to Atua? No, son. No, no blood sacrifices. No, not really. If you pray, you come floating down to carry you away in two days. To Fuck you. Yeah, well, I don't plan on dying in two days. I'm going to get everyone out of here. I feel the same way. There might be something we can do. Why, that's all more of a reason to pray. What? If you pray, a tool will watch over you both while you work hard. That's okay. I don't feel like it at the moment. Hmm, I see. Let me know when you want to pray. Buy it. Who the hell says buy an aura? So nobody's anywhere else. So I'm just going straight to the library then. Alright, let's do this. See, I know enough about Monokuma to know that he knows that he found the hidden door already, so. I peeked into the gap of the card reader. The dust is gone. That's right. I checked it right after nighttime. It started yesterday and the dust was there. But this morning it was gone. So that means someone entered this door during nighttime? That got me thinking. This may sound far fetched, but perhaps Monokuma's revival is related to this door somehow. How so? I remember, correctly. remember what the Mono Cub said? No. Nigga, that was yesterday. At nighttime, someone went through this door and activated the machine. And then there's what Monokuma. And then there's what Monokuma just told us. What? I don't remember nothing that had, like, I remember the slight effects of what happened. Okay, yeah, I remember this bullshit, fuck that. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime two days from now, then every student forced to participate in the killing game will die. The way he phrased it seemed peculiar. Why not just say, everyone will die? He went on his way to specify that students forced to participate will die. Wait, now he got me thinking, son. Okay, I think you deserve that whole ultimate detective thing, but... I don't know, yo, he's being weird with the wording now. But, huh, but why? My deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate and wasn't forced. That would mean that they would avoid execution without breaking any rules. Perhaps that's why Monokuma said it that way. That person is the one in our group who's cooperating with Monokuma? I don't know if Monokuma is that strict with rules, but if he is trying to protect someone, that would imply that they're doing more than just cooperating with Monokuma. What? Because I believe that if one of us can create spare Monokumas, they are the mastermind of this killing game. So, the person who's responsible for all of our suffering is one of us? Okay. Of course. This is just what I've deduced, but it is entirely possible. That's why I didn't want to talk about this in front of everyone. If we told them now, they might all try to find a mastermind and be led to murder. That's why I could only tell you, Kaede. Hey. So, what are you planning to do now, Shuichi? We're going to find a mastermind, right? I'm thinking of taking a risk just before the time expires. I believe the mastermind will come here just before time is up and I can expose them. Wait, how do you know they'll come here right before time's up? I'm extrapolating from something Monokuma told us earlier. Man, he pick apart everything this nigga say. I do not... 
mobbed to shreds by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma making machine. Uh, what? But whoever the mastermind is, we'll expose them and help everyone else escape. And when this is all behind us, we're going to stay good friends. That's a promise, okay? okay. Right. The people I want to know about are... Oh no, I don't care about the robot. Uh, Miyu just because she makes me laugh. And, um... Maki and... Whatever the fuck your name is right here, I don't remember because you were mad forgettable and then this Samugi right there. Should I spend time with Miyu? Why not? Shut up! Fuck off! It'll be a 10,000 years before I allow a monkey bitch like you to address me. Until you evolve into an actual human, just shut the fuck up. Nope. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. That was trash. I was just thinking, because, yo, Shuichi said when he was talking about the terminology that that dude used, he said, after the second night, second day from the nighttime cycle, people who were forced into the killing game will be killed. If one of them is actually, actually ends up participating in the killing game and kill somebody before the second nighttime cycle comes up and through that terminology uh i think yeah okay i wanted to ask you some as soon as i answered the door monokuma too bad it's me mm, it hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl it hurts so good all the same. What do you want? I figured I'd come let you know that some of the research labs are open. You mean the ultimate research labs? Those classrooms tailored to our 16 talents? Uh-huh. Your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. Now go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a murderous melody. A murderous melody? What are you even talking about? So, um, are you going to invite me inside for tea or what? Jeez. No, of course not. We also need hard evidence to convince everyone of the mastermind's identity. So that's why I thought it might be a good idea to set up cameras. Um, cameras? Okay. I found some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse. With some modification, we could combine the two and have cameras that will detect movements and take pictures. If we set up a few in the library, we can capture proof of the mastermind. I just noticed that Kaido was up here, yo. I was like, son, I was just moving around. I was like, hold up. Morning, Kaido. Hey, uh, good morning. Where are you two all to? Well, uh... Is it that thing from yesterday you're keeping secret? Yeah. Well, I won't stick my nose in it. I decide to believe in you guys. But don't do anything too rash, okay? After all, you said we were all going to get out of here together. After I heard you say that, I had no choice but to put all my money on you and Shuichi. I know. Yeah, everything will be fine. And if I do try to do something crazy, Shuichi will stop me. Uh, yeah, of course. Now, you guys make a good duo. Okay, I don't remember what the hell your name is. I just call you short nigga with the deep voice. Ryoma. Uh, morning, Ryoma. Oh, it's you. And Shuichi too, huh? You guys are always together. What? We're not always together. Uh, you pretty much are, son. Hmm. Well, not always, but I feel like whenever I see one of you, the other's nearby. Is that right? Well, it's not a bad thing. You can't protect yourself when you're alone. Kokiji? <laughs> Come on, I want to see you fly. Robots have jetpacks or whatever under their feet, right? Ugh. What? You don't? No, I don't. 
have a dick? What? Please stop. What are you talking about? Oh yeah. If you had a jetpack, then you could have flown over the wall and called for help. Hey Shuichi, do you think Rothero's really just confused? I don't know, but he certainly doesn't want to talk about it. We shouldn't ask him any more questions. Yeah, we should be focusing on exposing the mastermind. I could just go to the entrance hall and then talk to... Who the hell is this? That's that weird dude, but I don't remember his name. Because that's not going to. Yeah, you. What the hell is your name? Oh, yeah. Just want me to call you Kyo for short. I can maybe remember Kyo. I leveled up to level 15. Don't know what the levels do. Morning, Maki. Morning. Huh? Is she in a bad mood? Whatever. Heading to the dining hall? You guys better brace yourselves then. Why? What? Why? Because Miyu's there. Miyu? Don't understand. She's always weird, but this morning she she's been even weirder than usual. Since her research lab opened, she's been pretty excited to tinker with her machine. Well, if it isn't flat-chested Kaede, what do you and your pathetic tits want? Um, Kaede is not flat-chested. Maybe compared to you, but... Huh? I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. Um, I have a small favor to ask you, Miyu. Right, Shuichi? Yeah. Actually, there's something that we want to want you to make. We found cameras and security sensors in the warehouse and uh do you think you could make cameras that detect movement and pick take pictures? As in it would automatically take a picture if the motion sensor detects something. The hell are you gonna use that for? Man, what you mean how I'm still on chapter one? Chapter one chapter one does I don't know. Well I had issues with the Trying to actually control crap because I couldn't press buttons accurately, and I don't know. And then I just started what I started like a half hour ago or something today. I don't know. Ah, to keep Monokuma under surveillance, we might learn important information. Yeah, exactly that. Please, me, you. We need your help to get everyone out of here. I see. Ah, okay, I get it now. My answer is no. Huh? What? You, know. you plebs got a lot of the nerve asking me for a favor. Were you grubs in a past life? Is that why you don't understand basic human courtesy? Oh, I'll forgive you just this once. Now get out of here before I whip out the bug spray. <laughs> huh? Without thinking, my body moved on and something. What'd she do? Smack the shit out of her? Oh, she begged. Please, Mew. That's the complete opposite of smacking the shit out of somebody. Oh, hold up. They did tell me I can go to the store now, right? Um, come on, son. Just let me take detours, yo. Like, fuck out of here. They let me have no fun. This place is huge. I hope we can find all the things we're looking for. I want to destroy some crap. Ah, uh, don't worry. I know where the cameras and sensors are. I'll go get them. You can wait here. Oh, are you sure? Are these iron balls? They look like they're for shot put. I picked one up to see if it was as heavy as it looked and it was. The athletes who have to hurl these things are pretty impressive. I never feel satisfied unless I've mapped out everything tile, every tile in a dungeon. It bothers me when there's blank squares on the map, so I'll walk into every trap at least once. Why the hell does that sound like me in RPGs? Okay, so... Gonta is in the dining hall. When I got an opportunity to talk to people, I gotta talk to people. There's a whole bunch of them outside, but... Oh yeah, I gotta talk to... Damn, I gotta go all the way back over there to talk to Miyu. And they want me to go outside, so... I guess I'm going outside. 
I guess. Wait. So if I go to the upper floors. Hey. Oh, never mind. Nah, you ain't you ain't doing what you want to do, so eat a dick. Alright. Come on, come on! Good morning, good morning to you both. Spending time together again. That's it? Okay. So uh what is your name again? I don't son, I can remember Angie. I don't remember their name. Okay, he me go. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna remember your name. Hey, they say something where. Oh, uh, what's going on? It's just strange to me that Angie isn't afraid of tomorrow's time limit. <clears throat> because Atul has already welcomed me into his kingdom. Shut up about Atua! Your God's not going to get us out of the situation. Huh? You don't believe, Tenko? The only thing I believe in is Aikido. Didn't you believe in Himiko's magic? I threw it as a mirth. Uh, I said mirthful. Fucking sounding like uh, I was gonna say Tupac. That ain't even the right nigga. Mike Tyson. There you go. Why you? I will not be deceived by your words. Nor will Himiko either. You sure? Um, believing in the two it sounds like too much of a pain. Oh. All right. Let's go to Mio's lab. I saw it in the court. Court. Wait. What? I thought that junk said you, whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot what your name, uh, Oma, whatever the fuck it. I know that's your last name. I can't remember your na your first name. It was Oma, right? Yeah. Kokichi, I. How exciting! I guess that building over there is Miyu's lab. I saw Miyu run over there earlier. She was all sweaty and had a total creeper smile. That's it. That's all you got for me? Fuck you. Nigga. So you really just got that thing over there long mowing. Two cameras with built-in security sensors that will take photos automatically. A third camera that will trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo? Sure. How soon do you need these? Could you make them by tomorrow morning? Of course I can! You could tie me up and drip hot wax on me and I still finish and dying. What? With that bold declaration, Mio slammed the door in our faces. Did she just reveal some of her kinks? That's what I was thinking. Hand this sweater. Lucky Jan. The first time to wear striped sweater. Is all the time one with the color turtleneck? That's the kind. Actually, no, Ron Toro, yo. That's who I want to talk to. Fuck Kaido. And why is he in the library? Son, I'm suspecting anybody who's going to the library now. Ah. No! Oh, fuck. <laughs> yo. Oh my god! Motherfucker, spirit praising beauty. All I want is a girl with a big ass booty. Please, please, Mims! <laughs> oh fuck, we doing this now? Oh, get your face in my face so I can bust your ass. Oh I, like, so I felt like there was way too much time and I was like, nigga, I was like, son, I'm at 42. I was like, mess the fuck up, yo. I was like, this nigga, fuck out of here. Get that blood flowing. <laughs> Say it from the tip to the base. <laughs> no, don't fight it. You alright. <laughs> Blackout! 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 Blackout!